five most unbelievable comebacks in the history of tennis. One thing we all love in tennis is when the underdog wins. While we cheer for the Giants, it is fun to see a rather lesser known player best them in the game. Let's talk about some of these moments in today's video. Borg vs. Mick and Rowe, 1980 Wimbledon Final. The year was 1980, and the Wimbledon Final showcased a titanic clash between two tennis legends, Bjorn Borg and John McEnroe. Borg, the cool and composed Swede, was gunning for a record-breaking fifth consecutive Wimbledon title. Meanwhile, the brash and fiery American McEnroe was in search of his first Grand Slam title. The match had all the ingredients of an epic showdown. McEnroe dominated the first sets, leaving Borg on the ropes, but just when it seemed all hope was lost, Borg mounted a remarkable comeback. His tenacity and unwavering focus saw him claim the next two sets, forcing the match to a fifth and deciding set. The final set was on an edge of the seat thriller, with both players pushing their limits. In the end, it was Borg who showed the nerves of steel and completed one of the most improbable comebacks in Wimbledon history, securing his fifth consecutive title. Federer vs Nadal, 2017 Australian Open Final in 2017, the Australian Open witnessed an epic final between two of tennis's greatest rivals, Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal. Both players had faced injury setbacks leading up to the tournament, and many experts believe their prime years were behind them. Against all expectations, Federer and Nadal defied their critics, storming into the final. The match itself was an emotional roller coaster, with each player displaying flashes of their former brilliance. Federer, the Swiss maestro, had a mountain to climb as Nadal took a commanding lead. But in an extraordinary display of skill and determination, Federer fought back from a set down and emerged victorious in a thrilling five set classic. This historic triumph marked a stunning comeback for Federer, who proved that age was no barrier to greatness. Federer won the first set, and Nadal took the second. Third was dominated by Federer again, while Nadal took the fourth to make a comeback. The game was pushed to a final set as the decider, and beating all odds, Roger Federer defeated Rafael Nadal to claim the victory and take the trophy with him. Capriati's Resurgence, 2001 Australian Open. Jennifer Capriati's story is a testament to the human spirit's resilience. Once considered a tennis prodigy, her career spiraled downward due to personal struggles and legal issues. Many believed that she would never regain her former glory, and that's something we hate to see with a good tennis player. However, the 2001 Australian Open showcased Capriati's stunning comeback. The American battled through the draw, defying all expectations to reach the final. Facing off against the formidable Martina Hingis, Capriati demonstrated steely determination and a remarkable skill to overcome her opponent and claim her first Grand Slam title. While this part is not about a comeback in a match, this is a comeback to the sport. She was found in possession of drugs, which sent her down a rabbit hole of depression and mental problems. However, she brought herself together and made a terrifying comeback to win the 2001 Australian Open, which is completely iconic. Capriati's incredible journey from the depths of despair to tennis greatness remains one of the most inspiring comebacks in tennis history. Djokovic vs Federer 2019 Wimbledon Final in 2019, Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer locked horns in an unforgettable Wimbledon final. Federer, vying for his ninth Wimbledon title, had two championship points on his serve in the fifth set. The world was convinced that Federer would seal the deal and create history. However, Djokovic had other plans. With unyielding determination, the Serbian superstar snatched victory from the jaws of defeat, saving both championship points and eventually prevailing in an epic fifth set tiebreak. Djokovic's comeback was nothing short of miraculous, as he denied Federer and the world of witnessing a fairy tale ending to the Swiss maestro's incredible career. Other than that, whenever the big three of tennis cross paths, they always prove that there's always someone better. They have a give and take of sets, where each wins an odd one. However, in 2019, Djokovic proved himself to be better and won the Wimbledon final. Serena Williams Battle, 2017 Australian Open. 
Serena Williams, the iconic American tennis player, has had her fair share of comeback moments, but the 2017 Australian Open stands out as one of the most incredible. After taking a break from the sport due to injury, Serena returned to competition. Few believed she would not recapture her dominance on the court, but she proved everyone wrong. With sheer determination, Serena stormed into the Australian Open final, facing her sister, Venus Williams. It was later announced that Serena was in the early stages of pregnancy during the match, which made this victory even more surreal. In a highly emotional encounter, Serena claimed a victory, securing her 23rd Grand Slam title. Her comeback story not only showcased her unmatched skill, but also highlighted her resilience in overcoming challenges both on and off the court. Agassi's career renaissance, 1999 French Open. In the late 1990s, Andre Agassi's career seemed to be on a downward trajectory. Struggling with injuries and a dip in form, he was written off by many as a has-been. However, in 1999, Agassi launched a remarkable comeback that would define his legacy. At the age of 29, Agassi surprised the tennis world by reaching the finals of the French Open. Standing in his way was the formidable Ukrainian player, Andrei Medvev. After losing the first two sets, it appeared Agassi's dream of a French Open title was slipping away. But with unyielding determination, Agassi turned the tide, storming back to win the next three sets and clinch the championship. His triumph at the French Open not only completed a career Grand Slam, but also marked one of the most improbable comebacks in tennis history. Agassi's resilience and dedication to the sport inspired a new generation of players. Hennen's return to glory, 2010 Australian Open. Justine Hennen, the Belgian tennis sensation, was known for her graceful game and fierce competitive spirit. In 2008, she shocked the tennis world by announcing her retirement from the sport at the age of 25. Her absence was felt deeply by fans and fellow players alike. She was the world's number one player at that time. However, in 2010, Hennen decided to make a stunning comeback. Despite being away from the tour for over a year, she received a wildcard entry to the Australian Open. As she progressed through the rounds, her form and confidence returned, leaving fans awestruck by her impeccable shot making and mental fortitude. She fought her way through many matchups, defeating everyone to make her way to the finals, where she met Serena Williams, the defending champion. In a high quality and intense match, Serena best to Justine and won the final. However, beating all odds to reach the final after announcing her retirement is very difficult. The run she had in 2010 Australian Open proved the world that Justine is still in the game and she deserves every bit of respect she has today. Del Potro's triumph at the US Open 2009. In 2009, the tennis world was dominated by the big three of Federer, Nadal, and Djokovic. However, at the US Open that year, a relatively unknown Argentine player, Juan Martín Del Potro, produced an astonishing run that stunned everyone. Del Potro's path to the final was no easy feat, as he defeated Nadal and then reached the championship match against Federer. Federer was vying for his sixth consecutive US Open title and was the overwhelming favorite. Del Potro had never won a Grand Slam title before, and few gave him a chance against the Swiss maestro. But in an epic showdown, Del Potro displayed nerves of steel, overpowering Federer in five grueling sets. His massive forehand and unwavering belief in himself led to a historic victory, making the first player outside the Big Three to win a Grand Slam title since 2005. Del Potro's comeback at the 2009 US Open remains one of the most unexpected expected and incredible moments in tennis history. This made Del Potro become the first Argentine since 1977 to win that title. Click on the video on your screen to check out the best sportsman moments caught on camera.